Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. When we last left off, we were helping out this one guy uh, who is seeming a little bit uh, a little bit like he's in a dark place at the moment. So we're trying to help him out. We're going to go and talk to his friends now. See if we can uh, get them in on the in on the help, I guess. And uh, yeah, let's head out. I could take that fast travel point, but just start of a new session. I just want to uh, just want to drive a little bit just to get back into the swing of things. Wow, that was uh, <laughs> not a jump I was intending to make. What the fuck? Hello? That was weird. It just forced me off my butt. Uh, what is going on here? Okay, uh, <laughs> it's glitched out. I, I cannot get on my bike here. Like the moment I get on, it just forces me straight off again. Oh wait, no, it's allowing me on this time? Oh, but then as soon as I press accelerate. Wait, what if I press reverse instead? Oh, I can reverse. It must be something to do with the height of that plant or something. That is weird. Okay, whatever. <laughs> just one more bug to add to the list. I really tried to go left around him. <laughs> I really tried. <laughs> okay, where's the bike gone? Uh, wait. Where has the bike gone? Oh, there. See, this is why I didn't take the fast travel. Because I really need to get a feel for the driving again. Because it is, uh, not... Not good. <laughs> this is definitely not a game where they paid much attention to how the driving feels at all. <laughs> It is so hard to turn corners and stuff. Feels good down the straights, but then what doesn't? So yeah, it's probably going to be a bit more uh, side quest central today, completing the side jobs we have available before we move on to the main story. Nailed that one. Nailed that corner very nicely. <laughs> Now you guys were saying there's like uh, there's a fast travel point outside my apartment so I don't actually have to uh, take this lift every time so from now on I guess we probably will use that instead. Set sail for flavor. Captain Caliente. Only one Eddie. First 80 gig free of charge. I bet 80 gig in the future is like one gig today. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's going on over here? Absolutely. No, no, can't just leave it like that. And let your tongue I mean, be amazed. Shit, he wasn't can't go in there. No civilian access. Mm. Was this here before? Big five employers in Night City. Wait, what? Why have... Hello? Why have the cops just alerted on me? I walked slightly past the line, but then I backed out and didn't do anything. How, am I being fucked by the game here? An illegal activity will result in the NCPD placing a bounty on you. The police will send a patrol to the crime scene, and the strength of their response will be proportional to the size of the bounty. To lose the police, move away and lay low. Enemy contact. Well, hang on. Before we do that, let's have a read. I can't... I, I don't understand why they're attacking me right now. I didn't... Like, I crossed the line barely just to see if it was, like, an actual wall or if I could physically cross it. And then immediately backed out. 
and didn't do anything. It's that time of year again we present our list of the biggest and best corps to work for in Night City. Who offers paid vacation? Who pays for employees' trauma team insurance policies? Who provides discounts for daycare and child bodyguard services? Have a look at our rankings below. Number 1, Arasaka. Coming in again this year at our number 1 spot, the Japanese Zaibatsu Juggernaut. Employees can expect to be fit with the latest in cyberware technology with a loyalty obligation of only 20 years. <laughs> Militech, the American arms giant, provides its employees with up to 50% discounts on all Militech weapons. With a deal that good, you'd be able to put an, a Mark 31 heavy machine gun under the Christmas tree for everyone in the family. Biotechnica, our 2077 bronze medal goes to Biotechnica, who offers up six, yes, six va paid vacation days a year. Wow, how fortunate you are. <laughs> I think I get like 25 plus bank holidays, which are like five a year or something, so it's pretty much a month off per year. Kang Tao, China's largest tech and arms manufacturer, treats its employees to a gold membership with Trauma Team. Never spend a single minute of your 50-year loyalty pledge without worrying about... Wait, no. Never spend a single minute of your 50-year loyalty pledge worrying about paying for health coverage. Nightcore. While this hometown product aren't, can't compete with the biggest international players in terms of budget or ambition, they certainly know how to spoil their staff. Nightcore snuck into our Big Five after a recent announcement to reduce the mandatory work week to just 80 hours. They are a must apply for all you family focused folks out there. <laughs> they reduced the mandatory work week to just 80 hours? That's less than the Cyberpunk dev team were crunching for. Keck. Right, let's run away from the popo, shall we? I wonder what happens if I interact with these cops. Are these cops not gonna mind? Oh yeah, there totally is a fucking fast travel point, like right there, wow. Talk to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. Okay, Popo are indeed still here. Are they? How hardcore are they gonna search me right now? Pretty hardcore. Should, I guess I have to just kill them. Okay. dead. I'm just gonna die. Like, I don't understand how they appeared there. That was a dead end, wasn't it? Was that not a dead end? I'm, like, pretty fucking certain that was a dead end. Did they just, did the cops literally just spawn next to you? Is that, is that, is that for real? Lamau, and then it spawns me 1.2 kilometers away. Okay, I'm just gonna, the first... Uh, fast roll point I drive past, I'm gonna use. Checkpoints in this game are horrible. Is that- no, that's not a- That's not the correct kind of blue indicator. Come on, fast travel points, where are you at? I'm looking up at the compass. Minimap thing. I don't even understand why the police were on me there, because I literally did nothing. On fast travel point. Any takers? Fast travel points. Anywhere at all? Am I actually going to have to just drive there the normal way? I guess so. <laughs> cool. And there's not even a fast travel point down here, so I'm going to have to take the lift as well, aren't I? Fuck's sake, man. Oh, this game could be so good if they just hadn't rushed it out the door to get it out in time for Christmas. What a shame. What a shame. Three mouths, one desire. Sasha Devon experience. <laughs> the fuck is going on here? Moon cheese when you are sky high. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Real water, only 99 eddies per gallon. Alright, you 
fucking twat. I'll just walk on by then. Hello, Popo. Talk to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. Your voice is so quiet, man. What did Barry tell you about his dead friend? Hey, so... What did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once, he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. When danger lurks... Barry's depressed, man. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Not gonna lie. You pick the that he's depressed option and it doesn't say anything about depression in the actual response. <laughs> you disregarded his problems, man. Come on. Clearly he couldn't short. stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? <sighs> Give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. He's got to shake some sense in him. Trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Well, thanks, I guess. Try talking to Barry in a few hours. I swear to God, if he's fucking killed himself when we go to talk to him in a few hours. Feels like that's what they're kind of signaling. I don't know. Okay, well. Well. Time to look at something else then. So those are the main jobs. Uh, what's Fall on the Hill? That's about graffiti. That doesn't actually give us a point to go to, does it? Uh, the epistrophe ones are just finding the cars, but it seems to ring you if you're close by to one, so I'll probably just let that happen naturally. Happy together is what we're doing. Human nature, wait for the car to be repaired. Don't know how long that will take. Beat on the brat, very high danger. That's the melee boxing one. We'll leave that until we're high level, I guess. Uh, psycho killer. Find and incapacitate cyber psychos 17. I feel like that won't actually mark anything on the map either, will it? Uh, no. When danger lurks. It does not. Okay, so we might actually not even have much to do for side jobs apart from... Paid in full. Pay off your debt to Victor. That's the one... Yeah, we need like... We need like 22 grand for that. Uh, the gift. Retrieve the ping quick hack from the netrunner. T-Bug's probably the last person you expect to do presents. She's not the kind of gal who goes around buying novelty coffee mugs or t-shirts of your favorite comic book hero. But a netrunner program for you? For the job? Shit, she must really like USA. Sure, we'll do that. So, where is that at? That is... Oh. I keep thinking it's telling me it's only 50 meters away, but that's just telling me to go to the lift. But then... Because I'm not going to... Wait, where's the fast travel? Oh, is the fast travel thing... Wait, how do I get in here? Do I just... Wait. <laughs> the fast travel thing is like right there, but I can't actually get to it? Or do I have to go in... Is there a way actually around there? Also, is this a dead end? Yeah, this is totally a dead end. They totally just spawned police right next to me. When danger lurks. Okay, uh, well then, I don't know how to get to this. Unless it's like a layer up. Is it a layer up or something? Oh, I'm dumb. Ah, nice. Okay, it does it does show me where to go, even though the actual map was saying uh, to go to the lift. The actual the actual fast travel map shows me exactly where it is. Well, that's that's a blessing. That is a blessing. Okay, I need to bear in mind then that the map pays no regard to height. Just puts everything on top of each other. V. A vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Oh, yeah? Fine. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Okay. 
Uh, is it gonna give me any more than that, or? <laughs> Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift. Okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached. Cheers. Up. Anyone can shop here? How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. What do you know about T Bug's death? T Bug's death. What did you hear? The truth. She got burned, like anyone who tries to hit Arasaka. They found the body in her pad. Nervous system fried. You know what that feels like? Mm. Can't say I do. They say it's like a hundred thousand knives stabbing you at once. I can't imagine a worse way to- I can't go. believe they just killed her off screen Poor and didn't girl. even make it clear. <laughs> I liked her too. So weird to me. T-Bug sent me to grab a program. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. So you are V. I'm sure you heard what happened. Yeah, we literally just discussed it. It's so she weird that the conversations don't alter. You. Like, they put a in an option to talk about the fact the that she grave. died. It should work but then on they don't alter the main deck. option to account for the fact that you've already talked about the fact she died. Which they know you will probably do because they put that option there too. It's, ah, ah, cyberpunk. Why must you be so good in some ways and so shoddy in others? Got a Militech Paraline. Got a Militech Paraline. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Excuse me. <laughs> always glad, glad to grab a hack. Okay. Glad to grab a demon, always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. Sure. You might extract some Shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Uh, what am I looking at, sorry? Oh, this is, this is a fucking vendor menu, right. Ping reveals enemies and devices connected to the local network for zero, but it costs one RAM, okie doke. We'll take that. What else? What else? Contagion deals low damage that applies poison to the target, spreads to two targets within an 8 meter radius. Cripple movement. They cannot move from their current position. Uh, disables their cyberware abilities. Can disable movement or resistances. Very effective against fast moving targets and net runners. Overheat. I think. Do we already have that? I feel like we already have that. Applies burn to a target. Or no, maybe we have... Do we have an electrical version of that? Because I feel like the one I have is more effective against drones, mechs, and robots and less against humans. This is the opposite, I guess. Uh, Sonic Shock deafens the target, reducing their ability to detect sounds. I guess that's more for a stealth build. Short circuit, moderate damage to a target. Uh, huh. Request backup. Calls over one enemy squad members. What? <laughs> so you're just, you're calling the enemy to you? So I guess that's another stealth focus thing, maybe? Call them to a point, silently take them down, kind of thing? Reboot optics, we definitely have that. Ping, we just bought that. Overheat, that's the same as up there. Weapon glitch. Jam a target's weapon, rendering it unusable. Huh. For 40 seconds. It says temporarily unusable. But, yeah, 40 seconds, like, if they're not dead within 40 seconds, then you're doing something wrong, <laughs> like... Uh, hmm. That 
is probably worth getting. It's only 300 as well. You know what? I'm totally getting that. Whistle. Target will move to your current position. Isn't that the exact same thing as request backup? Calls over one enemy squad member. The target moves to your current position. That sounds like the exact same thing. Oh, what's this? Rare quick hack components. Components which are gathered by the data mine demon in breach protocol are used to craft quick hacks. Uh, sure. It's only 150. Why not, eh? Oh, wait. Oh, it's just a single... Okay, I see. Well, no for now then. I'm fine. Um... Which ones are cheap? Are there any ones... Okay, that's cheap. Short circuit. Do I already have that? I don't know. I might do. But I'm going to buy it anyway. Sonic Shock, no. Request backup's cheap, so why not? Uh, we've already got ping. Okay. I'll leave the ones that are 1,500, but it seems like it's useful to just have these cheaper ones. Uh, equipping quick hacks in your cyber deck. Your cyber deck has a limited capacity for quick hacks, but you're free to swap out which ones you have installed. To do so, go to your inventory. Inventory cyberware. Operating system. Yes, this is it. Okay. Uh, installing... You first need to select it from a list. Select the ping quick hack. It should then appear in a cyberdeck slot on the left side of your screen. Uh, so that one. Okay, so this only has space for two. Right, okay. What's this? Synapse Burnout. Deals moderate damage that scales higher based on how much health the target is missing. Do we prefer that over? It costs five RAM. We need a better one of these, to be honest. We need one with a lot more slots available, I guess. Uh, weapon glitch might be more useful. I think. Not even sure what ping ha what ping ping is really going to do for me. Reveals enemies and devices connected to the local network. I mean. We can we can try it for a couple of couple of couple of attempts at using it, see what it actually does. But I feel like I'll probably get rid of that one. But weapon glitch sounds sounds good. Uh, okay, cool. Is that the end of that quest then? Oh no, upload ping to the camera to find the access point. Oh, I can turn it off, but right, upload ping. Okay, use your personal link to connect to the access point and hack it. Okay, <laughs> all we can do is 1C55. Uh... <laughs> but that's not an... Am I blind? You can't do 1C55, because the only option here is this one, so you have to start there. But then there is no 55 in, down there. Am I missing something here? Like, this is literally not possible, right? Because <laughs> you have to choose one of the top row, and the only one that's 1C is that one. But then it switches to this column, and there is no 55 here, so you just fail. Oh, you can do it like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be the first two things you click. I see, I see. You can get it wrong and then get it right later. I got you, I got you. Go to Mega Building H8. Oh, that's a different job. Automatic love. What job is that? 
Oh, that's the main job. Um, right, where was I down on this list? Paid in full, beat on the brat, beat on the brat, the gig. Collect your reward from Wakako, sure. Uh, that is a long way away. It's time to go fast traveling. Where is the nearest fast travel point? Hopefully somewhere along here. Biddly boop. Oh, I forgot about the. Fu oh, god damn it! There was a there was a car around there somewhere for what's his face, wasn't there? Shit. Oh well. Oh well. It's like, it says it's over there, but I have to go this way, so I assume I should just trust what it's telling me, but then it's telling me to just... I don't know. Feels like it's taking me a, an, a weird route here. What the hell's got you so Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Wukako, long time no see. So what brings you here? I thought I'd do a little crouch session on your table. Tell me about Westbrook. Willing to... My husband's oh, shit. new Westbrook. The crouch button yes. is the skip button, I forgot. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws. Rude Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex, and black market tech. How many husbands did you have again? I can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. <laughs> yeah, I bet. You're not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. You still owe me for Sandra Dorset. I can't remember who that was. Who was Sandra Dorset? We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Nice. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Okay. Sounds nice. Uh, just walk away, I guess. Um, how close is that? Oh, not close at all. Okay. Let's see if I can find my way back to the fast travel point then. Uh, was it just straight across here? And then down some stairs? Yes, good. back up here. Yeah, I really don't remember who Sandra Dorset was. <laughs> oh well. Come on, you can load faster than that game. With the power of next gen. God damn it. Get my 
get zoomies going. So this is a diff- we've only ever been to the one Ripidon so far, right? So this is a, this is a different one. What is that? All NCPD subcons. APB out for suspect accused of organized crime activity near Ross Street and Shipyard Way. Scavengers led by Yelena Sidorova, presumed armed and dangerous, have assaulted multiple homeless persons. Night City officials are offering a reward for neutralizing the threat. Oh yeah? Mercy! I did nothing to you! Is that these guys? Is... No. I don't want to die. So what does the ping do here? It just shows me the people. Any illegal activity? It's not legal activity. This is what they're asking me to do, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is. There was a little. There was a little star on the map next to them, right? That meant that this is the thing the police were asking, right? Right? Oh shit, my health. Or not. Alright. Cyber Psycho sighting bloody ritual. Machete, hello. 233 DPS. So was that the thing the police were wanting me to do or not? I, I genuinely have no idea. What was that pistol? I just looked at a pistol. I saw a pistol, so I swapped to my pistol to compare it directly, and now the pistol is gone. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I didn't swap to my pistol to compare it directly. I tried to do that. But why is the equip button now, isn't it? God damn it. I hate that buttons, all of the buttons like just change based on con contextual like things. So this is 111, that's 132, so we don't want that. Wait, did that say, god damn it. Oh, I got a better hat available. 11.2 armor. Wow, that looks fucking stupid. But we gotta use it, because it's better. What's new here? That is shithouse damage compared to that. But it's iconic, so I guess we'll keep it. Because? I don't know. Power shotgun, eh? Okay, let's swap to our shotgun. And compare that. Full potential unlocked at body six. Huh. Sure. Well, we're not at body six, but let's get that going for now. Yeah, I don't know if that was the thing the police wanted us to do. I, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot in this game that is just super unclear. <laughs> But the, they, like they said, warning, the police are coming for you or whatever, and then the police never showed up. 
So, who knows? Anyway, let's see about this other Ripper Dock and this reward. <laughs>